What's up guys, this was a highly requested video, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus gaming test for 2023. Um, so let's go ahead and check it out and see uh, what settings we get on Fortnite. We'll just keep it at 60, 75, turn the FPS on. Let's check it out. We are running the Snapdragon variant of this phone, Snapdragon 855, 12 gigs of RAM. We also have SD card support um, on here as well too. And uh, let's see how this phone holds up with gaming in 2023. So I've always said that older flagship phones do a pretty good job with gaming performance. Uh, if we look at the benchmarks of the Note 10 Plus compared to a recent mid-ranger like the Galaxy A53, it pretty much blows it out of the water still when it comes to you know benchmarks and also just settings and games. Uh, so let's see how it's holding up. All right, guys, we are in Fortnite here. And it's actually somewhat playable now. It doesn't look like it's consistently holding 60 frames, but it's definitely playable here. Yeah, it's just it's not really lagging all over the place. I'm actually uh, pretty surprised. So this is a kind of a tough game uh, for an older phone to run, but it's actually pretty smooth for the most part. Now, I don't really play this game, but I don't know, guys. It's pretty smooth. What do you guys think? It seems to be. I don't know, touch, touch screen controls on shooting games is always difficult for me. It's never been my thing. Yeah, guys, this is smoother than I, th I was expecting. This is way smoother than I was expecting. Phone is not heating up yet, so that's pretty nice. If anything, just a little warm. Pretty smooth, guys. I think it's uh, definitely playable. All right, the next requested game was Genshin Impact. And uh, again, I don't know much about this game, but it's a really nice looking game. And um, it seems to be somewhat pretty smooth. This one is not really lagging at all, too. Yeah, this is definitely playable, so. Just a little bit. I kind of want to see, like, um, once the fight starts. It's a really nice looking game. Alright, so let's see now that we got some action on the screen. Yeah, guys, this seems to be playing pretty well. So this is why I just really like these older flagship phones. 
And um, these are like the two toughest games. We haven't gotten to PUBG yet. PUBG Call of Duty, which this phone will fly through. Yeah, guys, this is really well. Works really well. No issues here. All right, we got Call of Duty Mobile here. We're able to play this game at max settings. We can even do max at very high. And this game looks really, really great. And again, the Note 10 Plus doing a really good job with the heat. If we were on a Snapdragon 8 series phone, this phone would be very hot. What is this? So this is a very easy game to run. There's no real issues here with Call of Duty. Very well optimized. All right, lastly, we got PUBG here. Very easy game to play. This still can play at HDR Extreme. Pretty much no issues at all. So, I think this phone does a phenomenal job, like I said, in comparison to a S22 Ultra, um, S21 Ultra even. The 8 series phones, this phone is still like, it's barely warm really. It doesn't really heat up that much. So, the gaming experience is going to be great, especially for the cheap price that you can pick this phone up. You can pick this phone up pretty much well below 300 bucks these days. And, um... We're running Android 12 with One UI 4.1, and um, it's currently in its security patch stages as well. It's just an excellent device for anybody on a budget and they're serious about gaming. Skip the, you know, skip a A53, skip that Galaxy A14. Those are going to do you any good, and this is just going to be a much better phone. Uh, for the overall gaming performance. So this game, as you can see, guys, runs really smooth. No real issues, no real frame rate drops or anything like that. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.